guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell by the title, I will be reviewing Benefits of Boeing, Boeing Erase Concealers. Um, the actual thing that I'm going to be reviewing is this guy right here. It is the Benefit Boeing Erase Case um, in the shade number one. As if you guys saw my previous vid, I got it in my little Sephora haul that I purchased about a week ago. About a week ago. Um, and yeah, so it looks like this. It comes with the four different types of concealers. Um, it was a, I think it was $26. Not 100% sure, but I will link it in the description box below. So inside of the package, packaging, is this guy. Um, it's super cute. I love it. Uh, it does fit makeup brushes in it. Uh, I've tried it already. And yeah, so I love this thing. I mean, if I was, like I said, if I was going to school, I would be the coolest person in class because I would be rocking this. Now, it has a zipper on the top and all the concealers were in here in like a little plastic, hard plastic case, if you will. And then the little booklet that kind of tells you what each, what each concealer is for, uh, the purpose of it and how to use it, so on and so forth. So this is cute, I love that. Definitely a plus. So the four different types of concealers we got. Um, it, one is an airbrush concealer, which is medium coverage. Another one is industrial strength concealer, which is full coverage. Another brightening one, which is also full coverage. And then a hydrating one, which is sheer coverage. Now I'm gonna be, I don't have any makeup on. Uh, I don't even have moisturizer on. This is what I look like, you know. Uh, but I did decide to apply the concealers. I'm gonna try all four of them. Uh, just on a bare face so you guys could see the true coverage true color I guess if you will um, because if I had foundation on and if you I put concealer on top then I guess it would be a combination of foundation and concealer but this way you guys could see how it would really look on just bare skin all right so I'm just gonna jump right into it I'm gonna insert a picture of them below uh, well right now a good uh, they all pretty much come in like little pots except for the hydrating one is a stick so to apply these I use like um, a brush this one's actually a Morphe M160 I believe this is an eyeshadow brush I'm not a hundred percent sure but it's thin it's small it gets the job done I go in and I just apply and then um, buff it out with a damp beauty blender. Jump right into it. The first one I'm going to be trying out is the first one I'm going to be trying out is the brightening concealer. Looks like that little guy right there. Um, I'm gonna, at the end. I guess I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you what I do. So I literally just go in with a brush and. I just like skim the top of it ever so slightly you don't need much you know really you don't need I mean this this much could be enough if you can you see it I don't know. okay this much could be enough for both eyes to be honest with you if you're just using it from the under eyes you're good to go um, but again you could this is a concealer you could use it for anything um, if you have a pimple like this little guy right here you could definitely cover it with that um, and just any like spots I guess in your face okay so let's go so this is how I would apply it I'm gonna just do one eye because I am trying out all four um, I liked putting it in a triangle form just like any other uh, concealer I would do So that's the brightening one. So I take a damp beauty blender. Uh, this is Beauty Blender, the pro one. I love this guy. I stopped using the pink one. I just feel like it's more denser. I don't know, maybe it's because it's black. Huh. Again, I'm using it in the shade number one because I prefer my concealer 
a little obviously a little bit lighter than your own skin tone um, because you want to brighten your skin you want to hide dark spots dark circles um, And yeah, that's not bad. It definitely brightened up my face. This is without it. This is with it. Um, I hope you guys can see the difference, because I can. I mean, it's I still have black, dark, I mean, dark circles, but it's not as, I guess, noticeable. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference. So that was the brightening concealer. Now, let's try out with nothing. There's not, my skin is clean, no moisture, not even a moisturizer, nothing. I just have a little bit of chapstick on. Next one we're going to try out is uh, the airbrush concealer. Again, they're all in like little pots, except for the hydrating one. Um, if, uh, what I do is, you just clean off your, the previous brush on like a paper, paper towel or whatever. Uh, and then again, just literally skim off the top of it. And the good thing about this package is, A, you get to try out, sorry, A, you get to try out um, all four different types of concealers, B, these things are going to last quite a while, quite a while. I mean, like I said, you don't need much, um, and they're probably going to last like a few months, to be honest with you. Unless you don't like, you know, unless maybe you just use one of them and you don't like none of them, but if you have all four different types of concealers, you might as well just use them all. I mean, why not? I don't know why I make that face every time. <laughs> what is wrong with my face, dude? Like, why do I have to open my mouth like that? Like a fucking cow. I think I might actually take a little bit more of that one. Um, where's the, where's the paper? Aha! Uh -huh. No wonder. So, the paper says that the airbrush one is actually a medium coverage. So you might need a little bit more... On your brush I feel like it wasn't really applying well on my skin for some reason okay now we're gonna buff it out with the beauty blender I like also bringing it all the way up to my temple so it could kind of blend out because you don't want to I mean if you're not wearing any foundation either or regardless you don't want to have like a, a freaking half moon shape under your eye that's really bright and then the rest of your 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 face a different color you know what I'm saying so you want to blend it out as much as you can and then I always bring it up into my nose as well for that same purpose of blending it. Alrighty then. So that's airbrush. Okay, this one I still have the brightening one. Um, that one is actually full coverage, so we didn't need as much as the airbrush coverage. Um, so this one's brightening and this one's airbrush. Now, I, I can't really tell a difference uh, in between them two. I do like the brightening one, though, because it is full coverage, and I feel like it did brighten up my dark circles a lot. But this one's kind of nice, I guess, if you kind of want, like, a no makeup makeup look, um, or if you don't have that much dark circles to cover up, um, I would definitely recommend that one. But, uh, but yeah, let's move on. So now I'm just going to remove both of those concealers with a makeup wipe mm. 
My skin's gonna look really red. Okay. Don't get alarmed. Do not get alarmed. Okay. I always make faces like this. All right, let's let my face calm down a little bit. Water break. Oh shit. Condensation is a little bit like this. You guys like my bucket? It's a badass bucket, you know, it even says it. It's from Shots. I just spit everywhere. It's from Shots. Uh, it's kind of it's a bar in Wynwood, Miami. Pretty dope spot. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> I'm washing clothes. Um, I feel like I'm always washing clothes. But whatever. All right. So now I okay. My skin has calmed down a little bit. Let's clean our brush off from the previous concealers. And moving on. All right, let's mix it up and let's try the um, hydrating concealer. So it, it's the only one that comes in a little stick. It looks like this. You open it up and it is... So around it, surrounding it, it looks kind of clear. Like a clear type of thing and then in the middle is where you have the actual concealer the color um, this is the sheerest one out of all three it does state that it has it's a sheer coverage um, so let's apply this I what I like to, I don't even use a brush for this because it's a stick form so I kind of just go in with it I wonder, and again, I do it in um, a triangle form for you guys. I wonder what that clear stuff is, though. You know, like, what kind of oil? Is it coconut oil? All right, hydrating concealer to your coverage. Glide this hardworking hydra smoothing concealer with vitamin E and apple seed extract under the eyes or onto the face. Gently pat with fingertip to blend. It covers dark circles, diffuses lines, and keeps skin hydrated for hours. Okay, so the um, clear part of the stick is, it's the actual hydrator. It's vitamin E and apple seed extract. And the concealer part in the middle of the stick is light diffusing and skin smoothing. It says to pat with finger. I haven't tried that, so let's try that. It's definitely hydrating, I'll tell you that much. It feels nice. Ah, oh, it smells delightful, actually. Okay, so I feel like I've patted it out enough. Um, like I said, it is sheer coverage. Uh, you don't really see much of a concealer or hiding my dark circles at all. But it does feel nice and hydrated under there. As I stated in my previous video, um, with as the older you get, the more drier your under eyes become. And that... What are you doing, bro? Get out of there, man. What happened? What is on your face? Let me see. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Are you crazy right now? Dude. Oh my god. You want to say hi to peoples? Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is Kiki. This is my babe. Say hey, hey. She's up to no good. Stop. Get out of there, bro. Just, ugh. You put something on my nose. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry about that. Once you get dry skin under your eyes, uh, let's say you're putting your normal concealer on, you know? And 
it's gonna start to break up it's gonna start to crease and it's gonna start to not do its job properly because if you have dry skin you put something on top that's not hydrating that's just gonna probably make your skin even more drier that's not gonna work you know um, what I usually do is I, I would put my concealer on and I would bake the concealer with powder on top of that and I felt like I made it even 10 times worse with powder so I am on the hunt with trying to look for a hydrating concealer um, and I'll sh tell you my trick once I'm done reviewing all four of them but it is gonna be helpful now so we did the hydrating one now let's do the last concealer we have and it is the industrial strength concealer it is the smallest out of the four um, it's the smallest pot I'm guessing I think it might be the most expensive concealer out of all four I don't know if they all have the same prices or not but I'm pretty sure that's why they gave you such a small um, amount of product but this one okay so this one says damn I should have read them all I'll read them for you once I finish um, all right so the industrial is full coverage obviously heavy-duty dark circles and blemishes and then it covers everything from dark circles to blemishes and discoloration just dab under eyes or onto the face then pat it and gently with a fingertip am I, I was I supposed to pat them all with a fingertip I don't really like that idea so <laughs> um, the industrial strength I mean I like that idea for the hydrating one don't get me wrong but for the other ones I'm just very I don't feel like I don't feel like putting my finger in there you know every day or whatever is not very hygienic um, but I think I, I might just apply it with the brush and then whatever I'll pat it with my finger or whatever ah again this is the only one I haven't used only one I haven't tried out um, I have tried the other ones out the last few days and I like them all I just haven't really felt the need to try this one out but I really like this one like I said well like it said in the booklet for heavy duty dark circles that's me right there so I'm patting it out with my finger like it said I just feel like my fingers too fat to get into the oh oh hell yeah okay oh I like that very much actually I'm definitely feeling that concealer um, and I guess the padding and the blending it worked out whatever but yeah so this is the hydrating one as you can see it's very like shiny and nice and hydrating under there and this is the industrial strength full coverage concealer I'm liking them both I'm liking them both it, it looks weird guys because I don't have any foundation on um, and I'm not used to this so I'm like half of my face right here looks like shit pretty much um, even my forehead I have like little I'm even peeling it from like a fucking tan anyways back to the concealers um so yeah I like them all four to be honest with you I like them all four now the trick that I've done is what I do is I'll put the hydrating concealer on first then I'll put on top any of the other three either the airbrush brightening or I'm, I mean this is the first time I've tried the industrial strength one and I feel like that one on top of the hydrating is gonna be bomb definitely 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 looking forward to that but I have tried the airbrush and the brightening on top of the hydrating concealer and that's really like key for me um, because like I said I need a hydrating concealer first and then I could just you know kind of like build up the coverage with other concealers 
Now, I think what would be even better is if I use the hydrating concealer and then the Tarte Shape Tape concealer on top. I mean, I'm gonna definitely do that sometime very soon. Um, but as far as all four, like it said, they're all different uh, concealers for different issues you might have. Um, brightening, hydrating, full coverage, industrial strength, and then airbrush. The airbrush one, I kind of feel like it's kind of just like a, I don't really find the purpose for it, if you will. Let's see what it says. Airbrush medium coverage. Problem if you have unevenness and fine lines. It blurs, smooths, conceals. It's your real life retouch. Pat and blend is soft focus, lightweight concealer under the eyes and to cover dark circles, fine lines and imperfection. It's waterproof and it lasts 10 hours. Waterproof, I don't know about all that. Um, I don't really believe in waterproof makeup. I feel like if you're gonna be going to the pool on the beach, just don't wear any makeup, bro. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. So, all in all, I would definitely, if you guys were looking into purchasing one of these concealers, yo, get this little package. I mean, it is, I believe, 26 or whatever, whatever. But it's worth it if you kind of like, if you're in the fence as far as which concealer you want to try out. Um, this way you get all four concealers for the price of probably just one. And you get a little cute little, um, well, <laughs> cute little package to go with it, uh, which doesn't hurt. I love cute little things. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys have tried these concealers, which one's your favorite. How do you apply them? Because I'm kind of on the fence of that pat and dab theory that these people are saying. I'm very, I kind of keep, I like to keep my thing, like my whole makeup routine very clean because I don't like bacteria on my face. And I feel like even no matter how many times you wash your, your hands, there's always going to be some type of bacteria and me dipping into pots and just putting it on my face directly it's kind of weird i don't like it but let me know if you guys like that technique um and yeah so i hope you guys like the video uh stay tuned in for more vids bye guys